when I was uh, um, about 23, I remember I met a, uh, a lecturer, public speaker, and he bought a huge oil painting of mine. And he said, yeah, I need to hang it in this place where I always give talks. It gives the people something to look at. And I feel really, I'm reminded of him now. If <laughs> <laughs> what I say is not, you know, I can see you, you're not looking at me. It's good. Um, what? Yes. <laughs> um, so today we have the, uh, we're, we're, we're all here, we're participating in a kind of inaugural pilot uh, project. Um, we were, uh, Laura Sommer and I were approached by David Adams, um, who is working right now on establishing a kind of art gallery um, slash cultural space slash education space called Art and Spirit, Light Form Art and Spirit. Is that right? Did I get that name right? Um, and uh, Martina Miller and Laura Summer are both actually working with him uh, intensively right now. And he asked us if we would already begin, before he even gets a building, <coughs> to um, pilot an artist in residence, an artist residence project at Free Columbia. And he was extremely generous with um, how that would look, and, um, but he actually provided the funding. And um, so that's a little bit the backstory. I am, I don't, come in, welcome. Hey, Emily. Um, I'm going to just briefly kind of characterize what we've, what we've uh, framed as a, a intention. And then I'm going to speak about one painting that is here. Um, and I'm going to let the artists otherwise introduce their work in a more holistic way. And the more time they have, the better, because they've been the ones that have been doing the work. But um, we called the, uh, the residency an art capital residency. And um, a lot of people saw that, I think they were like, man, the thing is just as bad with naming things as he's always been. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, LS, like pretty much. That's what the hell is that for name? So I, now no one told me that, so I had to kind of say that now so I could figure out who was thinking that. <laughs> so, but I knew it. Um, now I have to kind of justify this because I feel like there's something, also, what I'm going to speak about, one painting that is so important. I actually have a difficult time articulating it. But I'm going to do my best. And it, so, it turns out that one of the residencies, namely um, the work of Sultan, corresponded with a program that is uh, where we have a team of seven interns here, full time. And Seth Jordan and I, and these, this team of seven, we have been researching the holistic economy trying to get a picture of the holistic economy in Columbia County. And um, <coughs> the idea is actually connected to the name, this terrible name, Art Capital Residency. And now let me tell you the story about this painting and hopefully leave you with a seed thought that I hope has something to do with much work in the future. Um, a couple days ago, Thursday, uh, we went with this painting <coughs> to Columbia Green Hospice Center across the river in, um, in Catskill. And there was the executive director of, I think, development um, of eight counties of hospice work um, who was there. And there were something like 12 to 15 employees who are working full-time with the hospice movement, um, <clears throat> and a couple volunteers. They had all gathered together because there had been a site-specific work of art prepared to hang in their main meeting room 
and Catskill. And that's this painting. <clears throat> and before painting this picture, Sultan had gone, and he had gone to each site, and he had had a discussion about the work that was going to be taking place there. And met the people involved. And then out of this, he was working. And the picture was covered. He had worked with his whole heart. There are all these people standing there looking at this covered painting. And all of a sudden, he's like, I'm terrified. He had been so excited, I think, to come. But then, he has to show what he's done, actually, alone. In this studio, working sometimes 10 to 12 hours a day, painting these pictures. And, um, and then he, he did unveil it, and we hung it. We placed it where it will go, in the wall, in this room. And there was such a generous and sincere appreciation for the uh, for what Sultan did, but also it was clear that this this painting didn't belong to anyone. It actually the only thing this painting has is it has a place in the world where it makes sense on a deep deep level. That's the only thing. When we all were in that unveiling, it wasn't we are giving you this as a, a, a gift and you can own it. No, we actually had this money, and we said, we will let you steward a work of art that will be created for a place where you work. Um, and so we were all there, actually, uh, looking at this picture, and when he spoke about the distinct colors, um, there's, of course, Sultan comes from a similar school that we've, of, of painting that we've developed, tried to be working with in Free Columbia. There's a, a few phrases that are banded about like painting out of color. But you can see, for instance, when he's talking about the blue. And this blue is just falling with the peace of a heavy snow in winter. A calming peace. And it was just powerful for everyone in the room. And then this purple figure here. Just the color. And you could feel the unbelievable weight of grief. Just the weight. The leaden weight of grief in the color. And here this copper, uh, orange, gold. Gentle, delicate, just very gentle, delicate light. Also, something very tranquil and peaceful to it. And these birds. And someone said, Why did you paint birds? And uh, he said something I'll never forget. He said, I don't know, it seems to have something to do with the place, America. Um, I have to think of St. Francis and how the birds are always chirping and jumping around and they just need to be calmed down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one thing you'll notice about Sultan's work also in the context of the other work is that it's representational, extremely strong representation. And I was struck by how also when they said, tell us about the figures. He said, there's a child in everyone, also people who are mourning loss. And he walked through this. And somehow every figure, which could easily have a kind of almost like a theological dogmatic weight to it, the way that he could paint it and also talk about it, it was like he was totally, he was really free in using representation without becoming kind of symbolic or wooden. Um, and I would like.
like to say now, in conclusion, before I hand it over to each artist to speak in about the work that they've done as part of this? This, when we go back and we hang this painting, um, I feel like it's one tiny little act, which is, we, you know, it's totally a humble deed. But we've managed to create um, take wealth, like that's pooling, for instance, all, particularly in America, we live in New York, and I got a lot of wealth pooling, and to give it to artists to create in a social common setting for the good of all of us. And I feel like in the art world we need that. And capital desperately needs to be put to good work. And so, I came up with this terrible name. <laughs> art Capital Presidency. But in it, maybe Sultan will someday paint me a picture that can capture this more elegantly. There's an imagination of capital that actually um, is doing good social work in society. And this is kind of a little first attempt at that. So we have... Um, I don't know, has anyone talked about the order of artists who would like to go first? Laura has an idea. Okay. <laughs> well, let me.